you have a surprise today. They broke out like a full kitchen out here in the middle of nowhere on the trail. And it's almost like they're catering it. They're having Navajo, Navajo tacos and scones. And uh, Kathy here, she's just tearing it up. She's just got this, like, some sort of contraption going here. Kevin is the bean stirrer. So tell us a little bit about what you have going on here. What is, what's the deal here? We're frying bread. So you just put in the hot grease. And then you can make out of this fried bread, these, you can do scones with honey butter. Or you can make a Navajo taco out of these. And they're delicious, either one. So you just dress out your taco or your scone, you put the honey butter on it. It's the best. That's your dessert. So we're having a meal and dessert bowl. Oh, as I got out of the UTV and someone said stir. So I've just been stirring for a while. So. That's a very important job, though. It is a very important job. Yes, yes. Right here, the station right here is probably two of the most important jobs in the whole operation. Now, Lisa over there, she was putting all the stuff together and putting assembling everybody's Navajo taco, which mine was delicious, by the way. I've never had it before, and it's awesome, especially out here in the middle of nowhere on a trail like this. It always tastes better out on the trail. They got these little cook stations here. I mean, they just brought them in and popped them up, and next thing you know, we're cooking. Nice. Nice. We're cooking up some scones right now, and then she has some world-famous honey butter you can put on it. Right here. Don't know what that is, never had that either, so we're learning a lot of new stuff here. I found out about fry sauce. I found out about this and Navajo tacos, and they're just teaching us all kind of cool stuff out here on the trail. That's cool. It's part of learning and riding. And I know all y'all out there are doing stuff like this all over the country and all over the world, so please feel free to share your cooking secrets and what you do out on the trail. We'd love to know, because we're always looking for new ideas. All right, there's a couple ready. Go and try them. like a cooking show or something. Do you think you should? I think I should have a cooking show. I mean, I'm not a real good cook, but I could eat other people's cooking. <laughs> so maybe I would just have an eating show. <laughs> I'll just go eat other people's food that are better cooks than me. It would then be called an eating show. You could see Brian's mean, trail food. Brian's yeah. trail food. I will be the taste tester. Let me know if you have some food out on the trail. I'll swing by and taste it. See how it is. I will be the official judge of trail food. So how'd the girls do? Girls, oh, the girls did awesome. They did fantastic. Kevin did a good job too. He stirred the beans. That's a very important part. You don't want to burn the beans. You burn the beans, you're the bad guy. But now Kevin is the good guy because he didn't burn the beans. Kathy was whipping up the bread and the scones and whatever else she was cooking up. This little pot of wonder right here. And then Lisa, she was throwing all the dressing on top of everything. It was like a full-blown kitchen here. This is first class. We even have gloves. The view is awesome. We've got a great lunch, and the view is amazing. It's yours.